Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I thought it would be really fun to do an updated version of a what's in my diaper bag. We recently moved, so now during the day when I go to the gym or I have errands to run, I leave Frida with my mother-in-law, which means that now I actually use my diaper bag. In my last video, I said that I don't really use it, so there wasn't really anything in there. Now I use it, now there's stuff in there, so I thought I should do an updated version for what's in my diaper bag for my 13 month old. So if you're not aware, I have the, it's like the Fawn Design lookalike. Right now I'm mainly using the mini, which looks like this. Looks like this when it's worn. So opened, it looks like this. I know I showed it in the last one, but honestly, I just was not really, didn't really know. So in this big pocket back here, I usually keep the wipes and the diapers together, but because I didn't know how long I was gonna be today, I packed her a whole lot of diapers. She does not, she, I don't even think she used like two of them. I think she used one. So she has a whole lot of diapers in this big pocket and she has two shirts so her first one is just like a plain white shirt her second one is just another ballerina shirt that's all wrinkled because again she ends up not even using them um and then a little pair of just Oh, I was like, is that a stain? But it is the glare from the sun. Um, I don't even know what these are called. And then another shirt. This one she had worn there and my mother-in-law changed her. And then at the bottom is her wipes. So here she has her wipes. They were all the way at the bottom. And then, so this is kind of what it looks like inside. I'll show a better video once I'm kind of done emptying it out. Um, I have a fork in here, some Benadryl because she has been having more reactions to like different foods that she's trying. So the doctor was like, just in case she ends up having a little reaction, it's good to have Benadryl. Um, I usually will give her Tylenol or Ibuprofen if she's teething before I send her over there. Um, and then here's her little amber necklace. She doesn't wear it because her neck is too chunky. So I just kind of like give it to her and she'll chew on it or just hold it. And then her booger cleaner. And a little slipper. I don't know why. I think my mother-in-law put it in here. So that's kind of like the inside part. I think that's all that I have in here right now. And then some wipes for me make some little hand wipes um so in addition to the inside so the inside has one right here again i'll show you in another one one right here so that's one pocket and that one zips up another one right in front of that one right here and then two insulated pockets in the side. And I'm going to tell you again, I can't remember if I mentioned this in the other video, but the reason that I like Mrs. Fong so much and the Fong design just for how expensive it is, I feel like it, one, doesn't have a lot of pockets. Everything is not included. When you buy this, it comes, well, not specifically the mini, but when you buy the original, it comes with the diaper changing mat, um, the little hooks so it can connect to the stroller, which is really cool. Um, this one right now doesn't have the mini hooks to connect, connect it um, because this one didn't come with it. This The original comes with the mini hooks, this one does not. So just an FYI. It also doesn't come with the, the diaper changing pad and everything, but if I remember correctly, I think I paid like $30 for this one which compared to the cost of the Fond Design Mini, you're still, it's like, looks exactly the same. You're really just paying for like the name, it feels like on the other bag. Um, so 
Inside, there are seven pockets in total. Like I said, the two insulated pockets, um, these two right here, and then this big main one where I originally put my diapers out of. So this one on this side is also a zip up one. So in total, there's seven, like I said, I just had a recount because I was like, don't remember. Anyway, so there are a lot, there is a lot of, um, there's a lot of space in here, which I think is really convenient because I wanted a lot of space, especially for it being a mini, it still surprisingly has quite a bit of space. So in my outside pocket, in this front one right here, I have my little wallet with my ID in the back, um, some cash, some little like perfume thing my friend gave me, And my chapstick. There. The face shop. I love the face shop. I used to work there. Really good skincare. Um, so that's what I have in the big outside pocket. In this one, I have this Camellia Boyron. I don't really know what it's called exactly, like how to say it. Um, it's for teething and like minor aches for teething basically i did a lot of i read a lot of reviews on it because it felt like everything else we were trying wasn't working um, amazingly frida really loves it so that's great so there's two front pockets and then two side pockets these outside pockets they are not um insulated so they're just pockets so the insulated pockets are on the inside uh on the back is one big gigantic pocket I'm back there right now but it's like this and it all is like a very cleanable fabric everything even on the inside very like durable super easy to clean i've dropped stuff in there so many times i just wipe it down and then still there's still this pocket right here also empty but it's pretty big you know some people put their wipes i just put my cell phone like if we do end up going somewhere where I don't want to like leave it in the front pocket. So in total, without including the big, large main pocket, there's about 13 pockets in here, which to me, I just like being able to like separate everything and have everything in its space. Usually it's packed a lot neater than, it's, than it was packed when I just started yanking stuff out or I shoved it in a mess because I was in a rush this morning. So it's just kind of like the reality is it's not perfect all the time. Maybe when I pack it initially, but other than that, it's not perfect. So if I could rate this diaper bag, I would rate it like a 10 out of 10. I mean, it's honestly such a great diaper bag. Even the mini has a lot of space and you should see how much stuff the original one fits. It is insane how much space it fits. So Frida just woke up from the nap. That's why she's all like, this little face right here. This little face right here, huh, Freezy baby? Hi, good morning. But, so like I was saying, if I could rate the diaper bag, I would rate it about a 10 out of 10. I think, personally, because I, I like the, the way that it looks and the way the Fawn Design bags look, I just don't like the price tag. Um, I think it's literally exactly the same with a few perks that the actual bag doesn't have like insulated pockets a whole lot of pockets really easy like cleanable material so i personally love it and i just kind of recommend people who really like fond design but also don't afford the price to look into it because yeah it's an amazing bag um anyway she's probably gonna start crying because she's still tired Call it off and don't look back Take me off this lonely track All my worries of yesterday I can see to get away We were golden turning blue I thought you could see it too Through our hands it slipped away That 
that's all for this week's video. Lots of love. Bye!